Hello, hello, hello! You are turning into another episode of The Wonderkin Show. Today's first topic Mike Florio takes digs at Lamar Jackson for missing OTAs. Look! I find it funny. I really do. I actually was arguing with somebody about this um, on in the chat of one of my other videos about the hate, you know what I'm saying, once again that Lamar is going to get. Look, <clears throat> I want to make sure that I say this before I go into the video, right? Because Mark Florio and somebody, I don't know the other guy's name, and he calls himself a Lamar Jackson hater. He, he, he says that. So you can only take what he says as a, grain, a little grain of salt. But I just find it funny how no matter what he does, he's in the wrong. Now, look, I get it. People would love to have seen him at voluntary OTAs. Let's just skip off the fact that he was at earlier, the, the, the minicamp and stuff like that. He was there <laughs> working out with his guys and everything else. You know what I'm saying? There was guys that were missing from there. Remember when Bateman wasn't there? We didn't hear y'all say nothing. <laughs> but no, it's whatever. You know, Lamar's the one that drives the clicks. So what I'm, I, I just want to kind of get to the point where I'm just like, man, can't y'all guys just talk about somebody else? Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, in a previous OTA a couple years back, missed <clears throat> OTAs for a golfing tournament. So did Dan Rogers. None of y'all said anything. You're like, hey, why do they need it? They're big time quarterbacks. How is OTAs going to help them? And now, because he lost in the AFC Championship game, there's no reason. I'm going to play the audio. And then we're going to break it down, all right? Because they're really trying to, I mean, man. So without further ado, let's play the audio and then break it down, all right? Let's get started. Oh. Let me change this thing out real quick because, yeah, there it goes. Sorry. Lamar Jackson has pulled it off twice now in his career. He has missed four of the five OTA workouts this offseason. John Harbaugh says it's voluntary and that's all a coach can really say there used to be a time where the league and the union policed aggressively whether or not coaches were saying anything that suggested that attendance at voluntary workouts was anything but voluntary so the smart coaches never go close to that third rail but quarterback second year of the offense, uh, trying to build on what you did last year. Uh, I know that it's easy to say it's voluntary, but it's also very easy to say you have a massive contract. Oh. You're one of the highest paid players in football. <laughs> These are important steps toward building the right vibe for your team. And I don't care who it is, starting quarterback of the team, leader of the team, if he's not there for the OTAs, that is at least cause for saying, are they going to be ready to hit the ground running at the start of training camp? That's what this is all about. Putting the foundation in place so when training camp rolls around, you're right into it and you're getting ready for the season to come. Yeah, I mean, I, I go back to, we used, we said this about Aaron Rodgers two years ago, right? Where they brought in a bunch of different receivers and he was going into what turned out to be his last year in Green Bay and he's not there. Right? And we compared him at that point to Patrick Mahomes, where he was bringing all his receivers to Texas and they were working out and Patrick Mahomes was there every single day. Like, this is where it's like, man, I understand that it's voluntary and I don't love you know, criticizing players for not doing you things do. that are voluntary, <laughs> but you are the starting quarterback of the Baltimore Ravens, mm. all right? And you just lost to Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs at home in the AFC Championship game. This is the time where you make sure all those little things that were the difference between winning and losing, you start to correct them now. He's supposed to correct coaching? He's supposed to correct play calling? Hey, yo! Bro, listen, this, let, let, me, let me keep playing it. Bro, this is why I can't take some of these people, bro, but let me keep it going. And so when we get a report out of ESPN that he is the only player on the starting offense that is not there for that OTA, I mean, that is just, I don't love it, man. It just, I don't think it's good because look, I mean, in, in, in Lamar Jackson's own division, you know, Joe Burrow, yeah, he's coming back from the wrist injury, but he's there, you know, Deshaun Watson can't even throw properly, but he's there. 
You know, you look at the Steelers. The Steelers beat the Ravens all the time. Justin Fields and Russell Wilson are there. And it's just like, it's it, you, you are. You're one of the highest paid players in football. They paid you. And as Don Draper once said, that's what the money is for. You come in, you leave. Uh, and you can say I'm being a Lamar Jackson hater, and I guess that's true. But like, I don't <laughs> I know. Guess I guess that's true. This is, I think, one of the things that you have to do as a quarterback. You have to set the tone. You know, Jordan Love. He's at the, the Green Bay Packers OTAs, and Matt LaFleur says it's huge, even though Love wants a new contract. Matthew Stafford wants a new contract. He's there. Tonga Bailoa has been in and out of OTAs, but he's been there more than once. I just, this is where I, I, I wish Lamar Jackson would, I, I just wish he would be there for his team. These are the same people. <clears throat> these are the same people, I want to remind you, <clears throat> that got on Lamar for playing with kids on asphalt. These are the same people that criticized him and said he was not knowledgeable enough to garner his own contract. These are also the same people that said he's actually foolish for trying to do his own contract. These are the same people that said he shouldn't get a contract. These are some of the same people that said maybe he should graduate. These are some of the same people that said he needed Greg Roman. These are the same people that said Greg Roman was brought specifically for him. These are the same people that said the only office that could work for him is Greg Roman. These are the same people that said that he doesn't need no wide receivers. These are the same people that said, oh, the O-line is fine. These are the same people that said John Harbaugh's great. He's perfect. These are the same people. These are the same people. These are the same people. Hey! 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 I'm tired of them. Let me tell you why I'm super tired of them, right? Because at some point, like he's saying, oh, all these other guys are there. Where were you saying it when they were um doing the golfing tournament? This is the practice for golfing. Oh, that was going team camaraderie, right? Because I'm golfing for a certain thing, and I'm golfing with the greats. I'm golfing with Steph Curry. I'm golfing with NBA Hall of Famer. I didn't say nothing. Y'all were like, whoop, whoop, raise the roof. NFL profile is crazy. Let's be real. Let's be honest. Anything that you can nitpick in the offseason with Lamar Jackson's name, you're going to do it. Why are you going to do it? Because you know it drives clicks. Talking about Josh Allen missing days or anybody else missing days, it's not going to drive clicks. No one's going to care. But Lamar, because you know he's polarizing, you're going to do it. And like I said, these are the same people that said and got mad that he was even playing with kids. Kids. These are some of the same people that said he shouldn't show up for um, um, practice and stuff because he doesn't have a contract. And an agent would tell him not to show up neither. And Lamar showed up to training camp and everything else. So I'm supposed to believe and sit here that you have his best interest at heart. Please, please, see your foot, swallow it, and shut oh. your mouth. Because we already know you don't. Mike Florio, you've been speaking hate towards our direction and Lamar Jackson for the time he's came in the league. And every single time you've been wrong, every single time you've been wrong, you said he couldn't um, dictate his own contract, he did it. You said he couldn't throw, let the league get past his touchdown. You said he couldn't make it to the playoffs, he made it to the playoffs. You said he wasn't going to be a winner, wins about 78, 79% of all the games that he plays. You said he wouldn't go real far in the playoffs, went to the AFC Championship game, and now, oh, well, because he didn't make it to the Super Bowl, ah, he has to go to everything, because that's what they paid you to do, and everything but you don't stick that same thing to every other quarterback that's there. No, you don't. So please, spare me the you're just being fair crap. Because you're not. Would I love Lamar to be there? Everybody would love every player to show up for every offseason workout program regiment. That's available. That's not the point. It's voluntary. It's voluntary. We've seen this just the other day where Bateman was missing um stuff. We're like, what is what has he done to miss anything? Yeah. <laughs> and everyone's like, it's voluntary. Like, no big deal. He's practicing on his own. It's fine. 
I literally uploaded Lamar practicing with Zay. And everyone's like, oh, why is he only practicing with Zay? It's like, bro, every single offseason he meets. So, but the only person usually don't be there is Mark. That's it. All the other receivers and everything up, they all work out, play um, th together. Last year it was Zay, Aguilar. It was, um, uh, what's his name? The other receiver that's on the team that ran back the touch down. You know what I'm saying? All of them were there. Likely was there. Like, all of them were there. <laughs> like, yo. I get out of here. The disrespect that a two-time MVP gets is ridiculous. And then you guys try to start to, oh, who cares? What did he do in the playoffs? It's like, he goes to the playoffs, unlike a lot of your guys' teams. He just came off the AFC Championship game, unlike your guys' teams. Be real. Like, I know you guys hate him, but Jesus. You know y'all be like, oh, I'm just all pro Lamar. Like, bro. Ugh. Mind you. I've been the one to say he's going to win MVPs. He's going to win a lot of MVPs. Y'all were the ones saying he wasn't going to win a lot of MVPs. Y'all were the ones saying he was a one-trick pony. Y'all were the ones saying he was a glitch or, 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 or just a flash of the pan and stuff like that. That's it. So please sit down with your wrong selves and just zip it. Zip it good. If a problem comes along, you must zip it. Zip it good. Seriously, don't get mad at me because you've been wrong this entire time. For everyone saying, well, he hasn't won the Super Bowl, Joe Burrow hasn't won the Super Bowl, Josh Allen hasn't won the Super Bowl, Herbert hasn't won the Super Bowl, Lawrence hasn't won the Super Bowl. We can keep this list going. The only young quarterback that has won has been Patrick Mahomes. That's the only young quarterback that has won. Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, and Lamar are the only one to make it to the AFC Championship game. What are we doing here? <laughs> you see what I'm trying to say? Y'all sound foolish. Jesus, God. Man, I mean, I mean, come on now, bro. And then this man said, I sound like a hater. Well, I am. You know what I'm saying? But, but what? Hey, listen, man. But what do you guys think? Do you think they're tripping once again on the crap, voluntary and everything else when it comes to Lamar, trying to find some story that will gain clicks and views and whatever else they need because they know it's going to be a slow off season? Or do you think, hey, you know what I'm saying? They have a point. You know what I'm saying? They're right. He should be there. It's his job. He's paid to do that. Let me know what you think down in the comment section, all right? But as always, this episode of the Wonder Kind. Shut up. Thank you for watching. Yeah, now we get down. We have fun and we laugh. But everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truth. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. You don't love the comments. And if you have not done so already, check out the Wonder Control's Patreon. Yes. Three tiers of content goodness waiting for your consumption. Give it a look. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. And if you would like to donate to this channel, help out with equipment and such stuff like that, bottom of the screen, QR code, QR codes to a cash app. Cash app located in the description of every video that we do. The name of it is Money Sign, The Wonder Kid Show. Super easy. But once again, this is The Wonder Kid Show. This is your host, Rector, signing off. And as always, you know my slogan. Peace. And I am out of here. Huh? Yeah! Finish him, Daddy. Oh! Yeah!